Hello, I'm Yao Kai, founder and CEO of Moment. Uh, in this video, I'll be showcasing Moment AI, our latest edition designed to bring OpenAI's capabilities into the realm of local development. I'll do so by walking you through a real example. Uh, we'll call it Ask Anything About Moment. So first of all, this is our website. Uh, we'll start off with uh, checking this one out. It's built on Moment. And this is a practical example of what our platform can achieve. And this is how it looks like uh, in the editor. Okay, so some a lot of that data is really just fetched from the back end. For example, uh, this part here, this is a dynamic list and it's actually coming from the landing pages, uh, the landing page table. So now mentioned the uh, uh, where the data comes from. So let's look at what we actually have in a database. Uh, let's say we have SEO. So these are the uh, content in the SEO table. We also have content inside pricing. Um, we have four tiers, and then we have some related uh, features for each tier. And then lastly, we also have feature detail. This thing explains, well, it has a lot of descriptions on what features we provide. Okay, so with that out of the way, we'll explore the actual Moment AI configurations. Uh, here is what I've created, uh, the ask anything about Moment configuration. This is where the core of our AI functionality is defined, and then we can customize that for our own use. We'll go through each component in detail. First of all, we have uh, the uh, AI model choice. Currently, we offer 3.5 and GPT-4, GPT-4 being more capable and slower and more expensive. Um, and inputs, uh, we define uh, what our AI models will accept. For example, in this case, we uh, have an input named anything about moment, which is set to uh, the type of text. This allows the users to input their queries in natural language, which then will, will incorporate into what we send to the AI. The task role is critical in uh, guiding the AI's response. For moment AI, we define it as an expert for moment. This instructs the AI to tailor its responses as if it were an expert on a platform, providing more accurate and detailed uh, information. The task details field, uh, would well, we, in this one, we provide context that further refines AI responses. For example, um, in this case, we'll, we, we are instructing the AI to uh, find information about uh, uh, moment based on the user's query. And this is where we can bind uh, different things onto the, uh, I mean, in each of this, those fields, you can always bind things into it. In this case, we just bind uh, the input. The, uh, the constraints are important to maintain the quality and relevance of the AI's responses. In this case, we want it to be concise and not repeating the question, which is sometimes looks kind of stupid. Uh, the, uh, the highlight of Moment's AI integration is our contexts. Uh, so this allows you to pull any relevant information out of uh, your database. For In this case, we have included all the landing pages uh, that uh, are that have no no title and no no body, and uh, the landing pages uh, we only include two fields, obviously, because uh, the IDs and created that and updated that these are not relevant for answering the question. SEO similarly, pricing similarly, and the last one is just um, uh, feature detail, and again we just include title and content. Okay, um, we also allow you to incorporate uh, local files. In this case, I don't have any files to incorporate, so that will be all coming from the database. With that out of the way, we will test it on a very simple query called, what is it? Again, because we have set everything up so that whenever people talk about it, the AI understands uh, it's about the moment. Okay, so uh, the answer is basically what we expect. Uh, moment is a no code full stack application development platform. Um, it's powered by AWS, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's cool. Now let's look at how we can incorporate that uh, into the UI. I have created a page, a uh, fairly simple page at that. It has one text field, one text input, and uh, one button. So the text field, is connected to the AI response page data. 
Um, and um, that means whatever is currently stored in the page data called AI response is going to be displayed here. Uh, the text input is currently empty, as expected. And this one has all the logic. Um, so let's just open up the flow editor. Once you click on that button, the first node uh, is the actual AI invocation. Uh, so it takes the input from the page on the page, uh, the text input on that page takes the value of that and assigns it to uh, this input ask, sorry, anything about moment, which is uh, it's like a, a parameter that you need to pass, that we have defined previously in uh, ask anything about moment uh, configuration. So we just assign it there. So whenever uh, people click on that button, the, the value of that text field goes into the AI. And following the AI invocation, there's a step designed to clear the text input field. And this actually sets the value of text input field to empty text, uh, ensuring that the field is ready for a new question after the current operation. Uh, finally, the AI's response is received and bound to the page data called AI response. This data binding action ensures that uh, the uh, AI response is then displayed onto the, the web page. Um, through this flow, we've essentially created a, a loop of interaction. The user asks, the AI responds, and the interface updates. Uh, this loop is quite easy to set up, um, and most importantly, it requires no coding. So this is a practical application of AI on a moment platform. Although one could argue this UI could use quite a bit of touch up, but I only hack it up uh, within like five minutes. So now let's preview what this actually does uh, in runtime. We'll usually use this mirror function. So that goes into this page. That page is this page. So let's start uh, with some questions I have prepared a few questions here. What are its advantages? Should take uh, in the order of 10 seconds. We're still working. Yeah, here we go. A moment offers an integrated environment for both front end and back end, uh, blah, blah, blah. And okay, so does it uh, have a back end? Yes, it has a back end. Okay, cool. Uh, what SEO capabilities does it have? Uh, fine green controls allows, well, basically TDK, alt text, and uh, URL structure customization. So that's all cool, all correct. Uh, what AI functionalities does it have? Those are the questions that we receive from uh, on, on a daily basis from our users. They will often ask those questions. So maybe I should incorporate this into the actual web page. Um, okay, we have an AI data modeling process, and then we can have text fields that uh, incorporates AI vector storage, and we also have moment AI. Okay, that's very cool. And um, we're working very hard to uh, add multimodal support and fetching data from third-party APIs, uh, as well as a streaming output, like the, the one that you see on ChatGPT's website. So they should be released uh, before the year end, hopefully. And thank you for watching, and feel free to explore more about our platform. You can always find out more by visiting our website here. Um, or even better, you can get a hands-on experience by trying Moment AI out yourself using our seven-day free trial. Thank you.